Breaking news today. Red alert, North Korea plotting massive nuclear missile move. Over the past couple of months, tension between the United States and North Korea has risen to an all-time high. Now, there are rumors of a potential nuclear strike by North Korea that could put the majority of our country in serious danger. According to Newsmax, Anton Murzov, a Russian lawmaker, stated that North Korea is currently preparing to test a new long-range missile. Murzov came back from Pyongyang and said that they gave him specific information about the launch. He claimed, their missile can hit the west coast of the United States. As far as we understand, they intend to launch one more long-range missile in the near future. And in general, their mood is rather belligerent, the lawmaker stated. This news comes in light of North Korea's repeated missile tests over the summer. Most recently, Pyongyang bragged that they tested a hydrogen bomb. Murzov's comments are having a variety of effects here in the United States. The price of U.S. Treasury bonds is going up. Bonds are viewed as safe in times of global instability. Reuters looked into Murzov's claims, but were not able to confirm the story. Murzov also failed to mention exactly which North Korean official he was speaking with at the time. Here at home, 1A. U.S. official claimed that they have reason to believe North Korea is preparing another missile test on or around October 10. The 10th is a holiday in North Korea, highlighting the founding of the Korean Workers' Party. The 10th also has significance because it is one day after Columbus Day here in the United States. If North Korea is planning on pushing their luck, it is likely to be on or around the 10th. They are predictable, if anything. Yong Suk Lee, the deputy director of the CIA South Korean Mission Center, said, There is a clarity of purpose in what, North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un is doing. I don't think he's done. Lee went on to say that, in fact, I told my own staff, that, October 10th is the Korean Workers' Party founding day. That's Tuesday in North Korea, but Monday, the Columbus Day holiday, in the United States. So stand by your phones. President Trump has made it known that we, as a nation, are not going to continue to tolerate Kim's threats. The president has received criticism for saying that we would totally destroy North Korea, however, that's exactly what may have to happen in order to secure the safety and well-being of the United States, her citizenry, and the citizenry of her territories, such as Guam, which is geographically within reach of many of North Korea's military technology already. Kim responded by calling Trump deranged. It has been a back-and-forth affair, but someone needs to stand up for the United States. If we give Kim an inch, he is going to take a mile. We should never have to fear the breakout of nuclear war, but Kim Jong-un is truly pushing the issue, forcing us to consider a military intervention.